In this lesson, you are going to learn how to interpret and draw line graphs. Line graphs are useful for showing trends in data. For example, this graph shows the trend in rainfall from January through to December. We can see that the amount of rainfall decreases as we get into the summer months and then increases again towards the end of the year. Let's take a look at another line graph and see how we can use it to interpret information. This line graph is similar to the previous example, except that this time it shows the average amount of sunshine each month throughout the year. A. Which month had the highest average hours of sun a day? We can see that the highest point on the graph is July, so July had the most hours of sun a day. B. Which two months had the same average hours of sun a day? The graph is flat between April and May, which shows that April and May had the same average amount of sun a day. C. What is the average amount of sun a day in November? We read along the x-axis to November and then go up the line on the graph and then read the value from the y-axis. November had an average of two hours of sun a day. D. Estimate the average amount of sun in June. We read along the x-axis to June, go up the line on the graph, and then read on the y-axis that it is a quarter of the way between 6 and 8 hours. A good estimation would therefore be 6.5. There was an approximate average of 6.5 hours of sun a day in June. E. Which month had an average of 4 hours sun a day? To answer this question, we read up the y-axis to 4 and then go along until we meet the line graph. October had an average of 4 hours a day. F. Write a sentence commenting on the average hours of sun throughout the year. This time we must look at the graph as a whole and comment on any trend or pattern we see. The average number of hours of sun a day increases each month. We can see this as the graph slopes steadily upwards. Until July, which has the most, then it starts decreasing again towards the end of the year. We can see this as the graph starts sloping down again. Now let's learn how to draw line graphs. It's a good idea to draw line graphs on square paper. We will use an example to see how this is done. Use the information in the table to draw a line graph showing sales of ice creams during a week in July. We begin by deciding on a title, and then drawing the X and Y axes. Let's make the title Weekly Sales. The maximum number of sales is 40, so let's make our Y axis go up to 45 in steps of 5. The X axis needs to be marked with the days of the week. We need to make sure each day is shown below a line in our graph and not below a space. Now we have drawn our axis and given our graph a title, we are ready to start marking the data from our table. There were 20 ice creams sold on Monday. Read up the y-axis until you reach 20. Now move right until you find the line for Monday. Plot a point or a small cross. There were 25 ice creams sold on Tuesday. Read up the y-axis until you reach 25, then move right until you find the line for Tuesday. Again, plot a point. Now join the point for Monday and the point for Tuesday with a single straight line. 
Plot 10 ice creams for Wednesday, and then draw a line between Wednesday's point and Tuesday's point. Continue through the days of the week, plotting the number of ice creams sold, and then joining the point of that to the previous days. Once all the points have been plotted and joined together, we have completed our line graph. In this lesson, you have learned how to interpret and draw line graphs.